Hey YouTubers, here I am. I'm going to show you how to get the photo you are looking at right now, how you can add several elements of AI augmented sky to one photo. It's a thing I've been getting a lot of people have been asking me, how do you make several elements, not just one? And I will be showing you in this tutorial. This is what we started out with. And this is what we ended up with. Stay tuned. Before we start, people, remember that I am a Luminar partner. If you guys want to buy the software, it always helps the channel. If you decide to buy the software to go down in the description and click on my link, you will also have a rebate code there, which will get you some money off. I just want to tell you guys what AI Augmented Sky is. What basically it is, is that it is a way of adding dramatic elements to your shot. So let's say you want to add a balloon into an image. You can pop a balloon there and you can do a couple of th things like place the object. You can adjust light with advanced settings and defocus it and bring the amount down. And it, after a while, you can make something that's pretty darn realistic within your image. It's really up to you. So in the case of this balloon, you'd want it in the back as a defocus way far away. Something like that would look kind of cool. But you can do that with... Uh, a lot of different elements and it's kind of fun to play with but what happens is with AI augmented sky you can only use one element at the time but there is sort of a workaround for that and I will show you how to do that today so what I'm gonna do is get rid of what I just did right there I am gonna just adjust my photo a tiny bit in with the lighting I'm just gonna bring up the light a tiny bit uh, temperature I want it to be a bit more cold to really look like we're in a space type situation. And I'm gonna pull the exposure uh, up a tad so we get the sunlight there, that's good. Now, what I wanna do is add not only one element, but several elements in AI Augmented Sky. So what happens is when you go here and you press the layers thing, because I think the only way to really do it is with layers, is that when you go to add an adjustment layer, it doesn't really work. What you need to do is add a stamped layer. If you do that, the only caveat to all that, the only bad thing about that is that whatever edit you do below is locked in, but at least you can add a new layer with a new object and have several objects. In the case of this shot right here, what I'm gonna do is go and add in here. I'm just gonna call this, I'm gonna name this, rename lamp, call it moon. There you go. I add that there, right there. So I call that moon and I'm going to go here. Just press enter. And in this, I'm going to go to AI augmented sky object selection and pick moon two. let it uh, form there. That's cool. I am going to go to place object. You know what? I think I like moon one better. I like moon one. Yeah. More dramatic. Remember that if you want to add other things, because what happens is there's only so many standard objects within AI Augmented Sky. Remember that in your advanced settings, you can also, if I'm not mistaken, no, not in advanced settings, in your drop down list at the bottom, you can load a custom image and add that image as well. So, but for now, I'm adding in a moon, putting it right here. Now, what I have to do is I have to create a new layer if I want to add a new object and make sure that within that layer, it is a stamped layer. Once you do that, you've locked your edit in. That's the only thing that is a bit of a bummer. But after that, you can add another element to your photo. Uh, so if you don't mind locking in, just make sure that whatever layer you do do, you've done it to your liking. So I've created a new stamp layer. I'm going to rename that layer. I'm going to call it ringed planet there you go and within that i'm going to go into ai augmented sky and see it's available here you go so i go down here i go uh, planet four let's see what that looks like there you go ring planet almost looks good right there but we're going to place the object a bit better try to get it off to the side maybe smaller and way in the background so you know gives a 
more of an effect of reality. How about over here? Switch it up like that. Really make it look kind of cool. Bring it down here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. So let's place that in there. Now remember, you can pull out the amount. You can also play with defocus to make it really look like it's there in the background and that your camera was sort of focusing in more on this moon and not the back. So that's done. That's really great. Now you can add an adjustment layer afterward and start playing with your image and putting new stuff in there as well. So you have the ring planet that you can get rid of and the moon there see the moon is burnt in so you can't really do anything with that now so let's say i go here adjustment layer i'm going to go into creative i'm going to put some sun rays in there place sun rays uh place on center right here there you go bring the amount down overall look sun railings penetration advanced settings i don't like to have a lot of sun rays just gives it a bit more drama there you go other stuff you can add which might help a lot color style LUT play with a couple of LUTs here they'll give you a, a sort of there you go that is a planet feel so there you go guys that's I think that's kind of a cool shot right there so what I did was I was able to add several elements of AI augmented sky several different elements on the same photo using stamped layers so I had to do a good edit, stamp that edit and live with it and then bring in something else. So I hope you guys, this helps you out in doing what you want to do. So just remember, I am a Luminar partner. If you guys want to click down in the link below, you will get a rebate if you use my rebate code as well. So it'll give you lots of money off. And I think there's actually an Easter uh, promotion. So you might even get the added promotion there as well. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.